Hey everybody, Nathan here. Uh, again, just my YouTube channel, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I just want to show you something that I just noticed uh, right as I was about to shut off the game for doing that first live stream. Um, I went ahead and got my character ready, which by the way is now going to look like that, apparently. Um, kind of like me with a receding hairline, slight tan, and <laughs> more goatee filled out because mine doesn't fill out as much on the sides as it does everywhere else. Um, but I want to show you there is a way to access the uh, original ship bridge already. So go into whatever type of match you want. And apparently, I should have figured this out just from logic. Um, the Aegis on the campaign missions. So on the campaign missions, you can't choose original Enterprise. But if you choose ongoing voyages, which are those procedurally generated ones, then you can choose original Enterprise. I haven't tried it yet. I got to see this. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to do much with it, but I'm really curious what it looks like. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, I was just, I was very curious about that when I realized that it worked. The loading screen has even changed to reflect it. Captain's Log Supplemental. Local authorities asked us to investigate a situation of some sensitivity, though they refrained from providing details until we were in system. We expect to learn more soon. So what you're saying is they're jerks. Okay. <laughs> all right. Oh, well, I guess you gotta figure out what all the buttons do. <laughs> because they're all basically Jolly Ranchers. Sweet. How very trick. Okay, so whoa! So I can pick up this and use it to do my targeting. Q. Do these buttons do anything over here? No? No? Jujubees? No? Buttons? Okay, so I got what down there? Current location. So this is just changing what my view screen is showing, Lieutenant, or Lieutenant. Okay. Huh. Oh, other buttons. Wow. So you, <laughs> you gotta just know what they do. Ta ha! Ho ho ho! Something Kirk never had. A uh, help button. Target view, magnify target, exterior view. Warp map, impulse map. Right there. Confirm selection previous target, next target, and accept hail. So you're cycling through targets here. And accept hail. Okay. And then red alert! How do I turn on red alert? Red alert! Uh, give me this. Right, give me that. 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 Nope. We're just with that. But what if I want to hit a red alert? I'm not. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, folks. My fault. You got to be a little more precise with hitting red alert there than you do on the other one. Um, turn off the map. Cool. 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 We got scan. Shields on or off. Out of range. No target selected. So it moves a lot of the information up to this screen or onto the side screens. That is cool. Got our different officer stations. Speed. There's tactical back there now. Or not tactical, engineering back there. Hey! It's the whatchamacallit. It's the uh, dedication plaque. Plaqua. Then Ensign Rao and Lieutenant Hoyle here um, up front. All right, that is cool. Um, I like it. I like it. I imagine it being tougher to play this way, but I like it because everything's made of gumdrops. <laughs> I'm assuming that after playing, a, you know, long enough, though, looking at things like the captain's info feed and so forth, you'll eventually get to a point where you're just like, flick, 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 flick. I know exactly which, you know, gummy bear slash Jolly Rancher to flick. But until then, that's why the help buttons exist. Okay, cool. Yeah, I just want to give you a chance to see this. It feels much closer in. It's much less open. Uh, a little more claustrophobic. Feels like the walls don't go back as far on either side because there aren't those recessed areas in the back. Um, not a lot going on directly behind you. There's just another station with another individual there with your turbo lift back there. 
Uh, and then it does put Hoyle and Rao a little closer together and closer to you as you're sitting in the command chair. And if I want to... Oh, nice. Even the choices look the same. Uh, or, look, you know, fit the period. So I can go, uh, Lieutenant Hoyle. And take over Lieutenant Hoyle's station. Oh my god, it's fucking Jujubees! Wow. <laughs> really? <laughs> Selectable targets. Fire phasers, fire torpedo one, fire torpedo two. Target selected. Don't care. Can I blow something up? Nice. Phase all range. Jujubees that do nothing. Arm um, torpedoes. Torpedoes, torpedoes, torpedoes. Is it ever, does it tell us that they're armed anywhere? Nope. Torpedoes disarm. Okay, it says it up there on the captain's screen. So that's the in case your crew is screwing around. Okay, cool. Edson Rao, I'd like to check out what yours looks like. More friggin' Jujubees. Oh, good lord. <laughs> How they ever got past the 23rd century, I'll never know. Impulse map, warp map, turn left, move down, move up. Oh my god, it's like controlling a, uh, something with the, the keyboard, which is not my thing. Turn right, previous destination, next destination, select. So it's cycling through instead of touching and clicking. Engage warp, engage impulse, forward, reverse, decrease speed, increase speed, blah, blah, blah. Cool. I imagine this is going to be a cluster something. Oh lord. Wow. Hi! How you doing? It's my first day. I don't even have no stripes on my sleeves or nothing. And holy crap, yes. Power distribution is over here. And you're just increasing or decreasing using that. Master system display there. Transporter repair warp. Wow. <laughs> this is almost like challenge mode, it feels like. Um, be very interesting to run a a mission this way but I didn't like I, said, I just wanted to give you a chance to see what this looked like um, because at first I hadn't figured out how to switch but that was because I was only choosing uh, the campaign missions when I tried ongoing voyages I didn't try to change ships when I did try to change ships it was while selecting campaign so of course you couldn't choose uh, the old 1701 which ironically was my hotel room number the first time I ever went as a speaking guest to a, a sci-fi convention con Carolinas back in 04 all right Thank you all for watching. Just want to give you a chance to check this out. Uh, the larger live stream has lots more information about the game and some gameplay and whatnot. Uh, just recorded a few minutes before this, so it should finish processing sometime uh, later here in the evening of launch day. Thank you all for watching, and again, live long and prosper. And you spoke over my line. Hey! Wait, isn't that cupcake? Anyway, see you, everybody.